And thank you so much for joining us here on Idaho Today. But before we jump into the show fully, I have to introduce a very special guest that we have today. This is April Neal. I'm sure you recognize her from previous episodes here on Idaho Today. Plus, she co-hosts the Emmy special with me that we did. That was so much fun. That was so much fun. <laughs> and we love April so much that we've invited her back time and time again. Give you a little background. She's an entertainment columnist for Idaho Press Tribune. Um, but today, she's going to be joining me as a co-host. So we're going to share this first segment together, which I'm super excited. It's so great to have you here, April. Thank you for having me. Yes. It's so much fun to be here. Excellent. Okay, April, well, why don't you take it away and introduce our first guest. Well, the Daughters of the American Revolution is a nationally renowned organization of women uh, celebrating their lineage, promoting education and patriotism in their communities. Yes, it's an excellent local chapter, and they've actually joined the Care Seven Cares Coat Drive to help uh, collect some coats for families in need. And today we have with us uh, two fantastic guests. We have Helen and Jan. We have region and vice region of your local chapter. Now, the uh, Daughters of the American Revolution, kind of explanatory, but kind of not, really. So give us a little background here. What is your organization about? Well, we were formed in 1890, the same year that Idaho became a state, and we are the world's largest women's organization. We are nonprofit, nonpolitical, and we, uh, our mission is basically historic preservation, education, and as you said, uh, uh, patriotism. And uh, you know, our motto is God, home, and country. And our women have all sorts of different interests. Uh, they come from different backgrounds. And uh, the only thing that kind of ties us all together is that we can, we are lineal descent from patriots of the American Revolution. That's exciting. And April, this is something you can actually relate to. I can. I am um, Mayflower, Massachusetts, where I'm from. So cool. Uh, direct descendant of Stephen Hopkins. And it's all on paper. It's, it's for real. It's not anecdotal. Yes, that's super exciting. So this is actually an organization you could, yes. you could join. Yes, we are definitely going to be talking to yeah. her afterwards. Excellent. We'll be talking. Good. All right, exchanging numbers right now. Okay. All right, and then uh, this organization is getting involved in an event that we obviously carry close to our heart. It is our Seven Cares Coat Drive. You're donating coats. So tell us uh, why did you decide to get involved? Well, as the weather became cold very quickly in the valley, we realized that there was people out there that possibly weren't going to be warm. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to be involved with helping those people stay warm this winter. And so we just reached out to the women in our chapter and very quickly we collected 30 coats plus. And so I knew that KTVB and, um, and, and Fred Myers was involved in this and so we just brought it to the chapter and everyone was so enthusiastic. That's great. That's excellent. And, and April, do you want to ask a, another question? Well, why is this particular cause so important to you personally? Well, you have to understand we are a brand new chapter in Meridian. We are the 14th chapter in Idaho. Oh, wow. And we've only been a chapter since July 3rd. And so um, we are we're looking and reaching out for things that our members could right away get involved mm -hmm. in and have an impact in the community. And um, our women are wonderful. We just reached out, and it's just a very much of a grassroots way to do things. We just said, hey, let's do a food drive. Let's collect coats. And they just, they're coming forward with things. And so we want to build on that. We want to be a viable part of the Meridian community. And uh, this was a good start. And my vice regent is amazing. She just, she took up the banner, and she's running with it. So <laughs> That's I thank her. It's easy to do in a community like we have. I mean, we all care about each other and want the best for one another. So it's just a great partnership. That's fantastic. Okay, so then where can people go so they can learn more about your coat drive and also about your organization and they can get involved? People like April, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. If you are looking for a local chapter, you can go to www.dar.org mm -hmm. uh, slash membership. Or if you would like to know more about the Emma Edwards Green chapter, you can go to regent.meridianeeg at gmail.com. Wonderful, ladies. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm so excited. I keep getting the clump <laughs> this week. It's the holiday week. All right. Uh, thank you again. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Such thank a you. unique organization. I love so it. So unique. All and right. I love that it has such an East Coast connectivity. Absolutely. Uh, being an East Coast person, <laughs> not from California. No, but, <laughs> yeah. Pulled out one of April's heartstrings right there. All right, everyone. Stick around. Because